Well, welcome to Australia, guys. You just did your your first we concert that we, we are on. Oh, yes, right. there you go. Um, yeah, how how did you find that your first concert went? Um, yeah, it was fun. Um, it was nice, kind of playing to this like all the people who were competition winners and stuff. So you know that everyone down there's like put a lot of effort in, and we saw some of the things that won them their kind of ticket. So it was nice. There, one, there was one girl who like decorated her whole house with just pictures of us. As it was the, the competition for the best shrine, the whole like outside of the house, and then there was like like she made like big life size models of us and put them outside the house. Incredible. So, how would you rate Australian fans then compared to your US, your British fans? I, I just think Everywhere we go, everyone wants to. Like, yeah, who's the best? It's always who's the best. But firstly, the, the the it's just over here. It just seems a lot crazy. Like we've seen like a lot of people running down the streets and stuff. Um, when we did the Today Show this morning, it was mad outside as well. Um, so it's just been mad, like non-stop, and they just seem to be everywhere. as well, like wherever you turn, like. So yeah, it's been it's been amazing. Except on a boat, luckily. <laughs> now you guys got a bit of R and R yesterday. Tell me, it was one of the coldest mornings we've had in a very, very long time. We don't understand, we don't understand this because 20 degrees to us is really hot, and it was a bit cloudy at start, but then it started to warm up over the day. We have to remember we started going out at like 11 o'clock in the morning, so it wasn't going to be that warm. It wasn't hot, but it was it was nice. It was yeah, nice weather. Some people actually came out on a little boat. Short shorts as well. Some yeah. girls came out on a little boat to say hi. Just kind of. Drove around us a couple of times. That's very, very dedicated for you. Now, Zane, I've heard bits and pieces that you're not the biggest fan of open water. How did you go yesterday? Did you take a dip? Uh, I definitely didn't. I don't have any clue how to swim, so I didn't jump in the water. I, 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 I want a teacher. Can we go to Paul? I'll teach you. Okay. I think we should. But do you know what it is? It's, I was like that till I was about 13. Um, so tell me a little bit about what you've got planned. Um, you've got a bit of a uh, rest day tomorrow, and then you've got the Logies on Sunday, yeah, which is really cool. <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow? Oh, you're right now, schedule. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, maybe not rest. What, what's your plan for, for uh, the weekend and next week? Uh, we're, sorry, Harry, do you want to go? Uh, we're um, rehearsing for our tour uh, tomorrow, so we're going to you know, get... Because we haven't done the show in a long time, so we're going to... Can try and relearn it, I suppose, and then uh, then we've got rehearsals for for the logies, I think, pop it in there some stage, and then we've got the logies, obviously. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. We we really liked our couple of days here so far, so it'd be good to go to a new city now. Now I I know that Neighbours and Home and Away are pretty big no, over I'm in. About Kath and Kim. Go on, Kim. Oh, and Kath and Kim, right? Well, there's quite a few stars going to the logies. Is there any Aussie stars that you're looking forward to meeting? I want to meet whoever plays Harold in Neighbours. <laughs> Harold. Yeah. Can't think. Kylie. 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 Well, Kylie right. I can't fan. promise I mean, anything. Nice Danny, though, well. well, I yeah. think Danny's going to be there. Yeah, oh, I'll make sure that she, she pops over and says hi. Yeah, okay. One last question for Niall. Now, I've heard you've got an unusual little uh, fetish, not fetish, but um, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> A little, an unusual penchant for uh, collecting souvenirs of animal creatures from hotel rooms. That's is that right? Him. That's not him. That's not, that's not is that you, Louis? Is that Louis with yeah. the animal fetish. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Louis, yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I don't. I don't know what was it. I took it to that. Swan. Go yeah, a swan or a goose? It was a goose, wasn't it? That, that goose and then that that something's that fucked. Pig's hoof. Pig's hoof. Pig's hoof. Yeah. A trotter. I just, I just, um, I, I, I borrowed it and uh, then got caught for borrowing it. Yeah, we had to give it back because they rang up management and cried about it. <laughs> yeah. so, the hotel. No, this was from like some like old, old like house thing, and uh, we were filming our tour screens. Actually, you'll see soon. They're lucky we didn't nick a full pig, but it was just, the, it was just the hoof in the end. <laughs> Well, I'm, sh I'm sure you're going to get plenty of animal souvenirs, koalas and crocodiles. Oh, I really want to hold bear. a koala. Do you? Is yeah. it illegal oh, to touch a koala bear? Because someone told me it was. I think you can hug like them and everything. You can hold them though, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> really like rare, like they're on, are they not? Okay. I'm, I'm sure if you guys, you guys could pull a few strings and I'm sure you'll get as many koalas as you want to hug. Thank you. But you can't take them home. Yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for, for uh, having a chat to us. Really Thank appreciate you know, it. Look, uh, look forward to, to seeing you. That's okay. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure I've got a little koala toy you can take home. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks for chatting to us. This is El Halliwell for the Sunday Telegraph.